Hello friends and those new to the channel. What I've got for you today is another video in the Corona Apocalypse video series in which I'm making a bunch of videos in my apartment because really there isn't much else for me to do at this time. So what I have for you today is another backpack review. I've got the Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor 25 to 40 liter backpack. This is the smallest in the revamped Flex Capacitor series from Sierra Designs. And I just wanted to do a review on this and answer uh, some of the questions that I had about it and maybe some of the things that other people are wondering about this backpack, such as does this whole strap expansion system, how does that actually work? Does it actually do what it's supposed to do? So if you're at all familiar with the flex capacitor backpack from Sierra Designs, you know that it's been around for a few years in a 40 to 60 liter iteration, which is great for multi-day backpacking trips. But late last year in 2019, they revamped the line and added two more sizes, this 25 to 40 liter and the 60 to 75 liter and fixed some of the, the issues that were uh, that arose with the with the first generation of this model. Obviously the main feature is this the expanding strap system which which allows you to keep a, a tight secure load with with different sizes and supposedly works better than uh, just your normal compression strap system or, or a roll top used to expand capacity. And so the reason I got this 25 to 40 liter size as opposed to the other ones is I really wanted something that could work for a longer day hike or a gear, gear intensive day hike such as during the winter or something that might require me to carry a little bit more than, than my usual day hike load. Uh, and also perhaps use it for overnighters and maybe up even to a weekend backpacking trip. I haven't been able to take it on any weekend backpacking trips, but I have taken it on day hikes and carried a variety of uh, sized loads and, and weights, which I will discuss later in the video. Without further delay, I'm just gonna dive right into some of the features of this backpack and, and show you how they all work. Uh, it's, it really is a pretty simple design when it comes down, comes down to it. Obviously, you've got this whole uh, array of compression straps and you've got these four main compression straps here which are part of that expandable feature which I'm going to show later. I'm going to stuff some more things in here. I'm going to loosen these up and stuff some more things. And then you've got got these more traditional compression straps which really help keep the load tight and secure and manage. Um, else, also on this front panel you've got loops here for a tool or trekking poles. You can take the, the tool or trekking poles and put it underneath these compression straps or you can uh, add something to one of these tiny little loops here uh, to help secure those tools. These tiny little loops, there's, there's a couple here and then there's a couple here and then there's even a couple here on the bottom. Those are for the uh, removable interior mesh bladder pocket that you can take out and use as a mesh stuff pocket on the outside. Um, I, I'm not going to demonstrate that. There's, you, can, you can see that elsewhere, but I'm, I'll show you the mesh pocket when I get to the inside. That's pretty much the front there. Nothing, nothing much to it. You've got two, two water bottle pockets, and, and while we're on the topic of pockets, this thing has a ton of pockets. There are a total of seven exterior pockets. You've got these hip belt pockets as well, and these things are, are huge. Okay, the, the, I, I fit like an apple in here. <laughs> like you can fit an entire day's worth of of uh, of food in you in just in like the hip belt pockets, and also also these these pockets here as well. These these two shoulder strap pockets. You can fit food or water in there. I mean, I've got this smart water bottle. Yeah, you can fit that in there if you want. I prefer not to because I don't like bottles potentially knocking me in the face. Um, I have. And then you've got this top pocket here for uh, for whatever you know you want there. So you've got a total of seven exterior pockets on a, a large day pack, and I'll tell you what I like that amount of pockets on there. I don't feel like I'm wanting for pocket space. So these water bottles, uh, I just want to discuss, show real quick different kinds of water bottles. Uh, here's another smart water bottle. I'm gonna stuff in there. So, you know, you got your traditional smart water bottle. Those are pretty popular these days on the trail. You can fit two of these in here. 
but I don't know if I'd recommend it. I think it puts puts a lot of stress on uh, the side the side stretch mesh pocket. You can fit two in there if you want, uh, but it is a day pack, so I don't think we really expect our day packs to to do the whole two two water bottle carry in one pocket. Maybe just in your multi day pack, yes, but so. You've got a lot of options for these smart water bottles. And then over here, just your traditional size analogy. Uh, the last thing on the exterior, I guess, to discuss is this whole support system here. And there is just, it is a robust support system. The, the frame and support system on this, uh, as I understand it, is essentially the same as the 40 to 60 liter size. And that means that for this size pack, this is a very strong and robust support system. And unless you are taking something very uh, dense inside, like if you decided to carry a bunch of weights or bricks or sandbags or whatever, you're probably not going to exceed the carrying capacity of this support system for this size pack. And, and it is that Y-frame support system, if you're familiar with it, you know, it comes up here and then it splits. And that's why you've got the padding the way it is. You need this padding right here uh, to protect your back from those supports, that Y-frame support poles. And the padding in itself, it is very generous padding. I am happy with the back padding. Um, you know, you do get sweaty in these areas, but there is some, you know, some ventilation with all the open space without padding. Shoulder straps, you know, there, there's enough padding there. The hip belt, the hip belt definitely has enough padding. And that's another thing is this hip belt is the same one that's going to be on your 40 to 60 liter pack. So it is a very robust and strong hip belt uh, for a day pack. And I'm happy with that because I don't ever have to feel like I'm straining this as I am carrying it. And you'll see that with day packs, especially a frameless day pack when you have to carry a long day's load. You do feel like you're straining the capacity. So. Very robust support system and padding. I am very happy with it. Um, so no complaints there. The last thing I'd like to discuss about the exterior is the materials used. Uh, you've got the 100 D nylon on most of it, but then it's reinforced with like a 400 denier nylon on the bottom and some of these side pockets. So it's reinforced in the areas you want it to be. Um, and this 100 denier nylon, it's, it's, it should be strong enough as long as uh, you're just not like you know, rubbing it against rocks and trees. And if you're doing that, like, what are you doing, man? You know? So the last thing about the features I want to discuss is just, just a quick look on the inside. I mean, I've got some stuff in here, but I'm just going to take out this, this whole mesh pocket so you can get a good look at that. And this is the mesh water bladder pocket. Uh, you can take this out and attach it to the front in these, these little loops here as... Uh, as you might have seen in some the the general overview of this pack. Um, personally, I don't know if I'll ever do that because it isn't like the biggest mesh pocket. And the other thing is there's plenty of opportunities to attach things to the outside of the pack as it is. Uh, you know, you can use these loops and, and put things underneath these these straps. So I don't feel like I'll I'll, I'll be needing to do that uh, with this particular pack. So the next thing I would like to do in this uh, video is go over the compression strap system. Uh, and right now I've got this basically fully loaded with this uh, in the, I guess it would be the low end capacity, the 25 liter capacity. I've got it fully loaded with basically non-compressible things like uh, sweaters, no, no puffy gear, just, just so we can't really, you know, fudge it with that puffy gear. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is just loosen up these straps and stuff these cotton sweatshirts in here so we can really test out to see if the uh, expansion capacity works, works as it's advertised. So we'll just open up this top lid and I'll discuss this top lid a little bit too uh, later in the video because I, you know, I know people might have questions about this style of top lid I think we're used to, to roll tops or we're used to uh, flap type lids on our 
our day packs, and I just I'll discuss that later about how this whole top, how I what I think about this top lid compared to to what else is available out there. So I've got these all loosened up, I think, as much as they'll go, and we've got let's stuff that thing down there. So one sweatshirt. Two sweatshirt, and that's three sweatshirt. Um, okay, let's see if we can close it with three extra sweatshirts in there. Let's loosen those up a little bit more on the side. So, oh yeah, we're getting there. All right, so I had num a uh, uh, I had some clothing in there, and I added three more sweatshirts. Um, I don't know if that's accurately 15 extra liters. It's you know so hard to measure the exact amount of liters in a pack. There's all sorts of different methods, and but so basically, I put I was able to loosen these straps up and add three additional sweatshirts that definitely wouldn't have fit when this thing was compressed. So the question is. Does this flex capacitor expand as it's supposed to? Uh, yeah, it, it does, okay? You know that might seem self-explanatory, but you know packs, the, consumer gear, outdoor gear, there's all of these advertisements and um, you know, features that are marketed, and you know sometimes they're not as, as nifty as, as you'd like them to be, but I, I would say this whole expansion capacity is as nifty as as it's advertised, uh, because it does keep the load secure with a variety of sizes. So that's the whole flex, flex capacitor working for you. So the next thing I want to discuss about this pack is how it carries with a variety of different size loads. And I've been out on a few hikes with this pack, and I've taken it, uh, I would say, with a light, medium, and heavy load, ranging from 10 to 30 pounds and on the low end on the lighter loads I mean it carries like a champ it's as I discussed this has the same support system as the 40 to 60 liter size flex capacitor and for those light day hike loads it it does does very well the medium load was also very comfortable I did not feel like I was being stressed at all I probably had about 20 pounds in the medium load and I you know, believe I packed packed it well, you know, and, and distributed it so it would carry comfortably. The final load I took was a, a 30 pound load. And to get 30 pounds into this thing, I really threw a couple sand, 10 pound sandbags in here. And uh, the thing is when you put sandbags in, what sandbags do is it causes that weight to sort of like push down and concentrate towards the bottom and pull away from your back a little bit. So at that weight, it wasn't the most comfortable, but I also think that had to have something to do with the way the sandbags were distributing the weight and causing the pack to sort of pull down and away from me. So I wasn't crazy about carrying 30 pounds in here, but the thing is like, this is a 40 liter pack at most. You're gonna have a hard time fitting 30 pounds worth of stuff in here, unless you intentionally do it to, to give yourself a better workout or you're just some sort of ma masochist or whatever. So um, at that load range, it, it wasn't the most comfortable, but realistically, are you ever gonna be carrying 30 pounds in this pack? Probably not. And if you pack it a little better and don't use sandbags, I think it will be okay because of the robustness of this frame system. And while I'm on the topic of how it carries, uh, I just want to discuss something real quick that people might think about. The, the sizing. How is the fit for me? Well, the fit, uh, it's, it's a pretty good fit for me. I was a little worried because it's sort of the small, medium torso size of uh, 16 to 19 inches. And that's the only torso size for the 25 to 40 liter flex capacitor. And it still fits me fine. I am 6 feet tall, about 175 pounds, and that torso size... It fits me. It fits me fine. Um, the hip belt. I went with the. Uh, I believe it's the medium large hip belt. Yeah, medium large hip belt. Uh, it's it's a little big on me. Uh, I probably my waist size. 
I, I don't really know my waist size anymore because I lost some weight. Uh, <laughs> but this is advertised for 32 to 35. I've got this thing cinched almost as tight as it can go. So I guess I'm closer to a 32. Uh, I might exchange it for the smaller hip belt just because there's so little give left in this with me. So if anybody is looking for a medium to large hip belt for the Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor, this might show up on eBay soon. Okay, uh, now the last part I want to discuss uh, about information about this pack is what are some minor gripes that I might have? And I don't really like to focus too much or complain too much about a pack I review because I really only review packs that I really like, that I've used and I like. So I guess there's just a couple things that come to mind. Is one, uh, the materials, I'm a, you know, I'm a little worried about uh, the durability of some of the materials in the long run uh, with the, you know, this mesh. It's, uh, it's a little lighter mesh than, than I'm used to if this is a potential high abrasion point. Uh, these, these hip belt pockets could rub up against some things and this is the 100D material on this instead of the 400D. But I don't know. I'm not sure what's, how it's going to play out. It's too early to tell. The other thing that I've seen people uh, complain about this is the lack of exterior mesh pocket and the whole top lid design. I'm not really worried about the exterior mesh lid pocket because you can hang things. There's a variety of loops and you can get some uh, you know, bungee cord or whatever if you wanted to hang things uh, or wanted to strap things to the exterior. You can use these straps as well to strap strap a few things like you could put a rain jacket underneath these straps here if you wanted to I still, I still think there's plenty of opportunities to strap things on the exterior if you wanted to and the whole top lid design okay I think a lot of us in the backpack community we're used to a roll top or we're used to uh, something that's uh, you know got a top lid or top flap sort of design and I had some questions about this whole top lid design myself and after using it, I'm not really concerned about it because the nice thing about this lid is it, it opens nice and large. Okay, here's, it, it does, the zipper does get caught on the top flap, but nothing's perfect. So uh, the, the, the top lid, it allows just immediate access to whatever's in there. You know, whereas if you do have a roll top, uh, it, you know, it expands and then you're searching and you're just like, <laughs> You can't find anything, so this gives you immediate access. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about taking the lid off and then undoing a drawstring. So it is a very convenient uh, top lid. The the one uh, thing you know, many people might wonder about is uh, zipper. You know, zippers tend to fail on packs. That's one of the main failure points. And with the zipper, might it might it fail? Uh, I mean, it is a large number ten zipper. And that means that it's going to be more robust than your typical zipper. So, I, you know, number 10 zipper, I, I've never seen a number 10 zipper fail. I mean, I haven't put packs through the most uh, rugged uh, conditions, but, you know, number 10 zipper, that's a large zipper. I think it'll be okay. Well, you know, obviously, we'll find out. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up, and I hope that was a nice little overview for you and answered some of the questions that you might have for this pack that I also had and, and was wondering. And I just made this video to get some more information out there about this particular pack model and size. So far, I, uh, I like it. I enjoy it. Uh, we'll see how I like and enjoy it down the road and how it holds up. But after taking this on a few day hikes with a variety of loads, I am happy with it so far. Thanks for watching another video in my Corona Apocalypse series. You know, if you enjoyed this, you can do the whole like, subscribe thing and all that stuff. Ah, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to do. I'll see you later, folks. Have a nice day.